Hello everyone, it's Saturday, so it's time for another dinosaur fossil. What you're seeing now is a very nice example of a tooth from a very cool dinosaur, Myosaura. Some of you may know of Myosaura. It's famous for the great nesting sites that have been found across North America. Now, this time I've done photos rather than videos, because this is a very small tooth which doesn't show too clearly when I record it on my phone. The tooth measures 1.22 centimeters long and was found in the two medicine formation, Teton County, Montana. It's a pretty nice example with a lot of detail, especially when you zoom in with the microscope photos. Hadrosaurs were very common dinosaurs, so identifying their teeth can be a bit tricky especially in formations where many different kinds were found. This was identified as being Myosaura, firstly because it was found in a Myosaura bone bed. Other diagnostic features are the shape, the size, the single ridge, and the very small denticles, which rules out other species. If we take a look at these two drawings of a Gryposaurus tooth, you can see the differences. Myosaura teeth are quite desirable, they come onto the market much less often than Hell Creek and Judith River Hadrosaur teeth, and it's quite a well-known dinosaur. So Myosaurus name means Good Mother Lizard. It's Saura, rather than Saurus, because Saura is the feminine for the word. It's a large herbivore Hadrosaur, that lived in the Upper Cretaceous. Its fossils have been found in Montana and Alberta. The Hadrosauridae family is huge, consisting of many different species. They're known as the duck-billed dinosaurs because of the shape of their snouts. They were a very common type of dinosaurs. You might consider them the food of its time. Myosaura was a large example, reaching a size of approximately 30 feet in length. They had the typical flat beak and thick noses of the duck-bills. Some Hadrosaurids, like Parasaurolophus and Corypheosaurus had distinctive crests on their head. Myosaurus didn't have a crest, but it did have a pair of small spikes in front of its eyes. The beak itself had no teeth, but there were rows of teeth along the sides of the cheeks to grind up food. These were replaced continually by new ones whenever they became worn or lost. Myosaurus has been shown to be a browser and a grazer. It had a diet of plants, wood, bark, leaves, branches, and perhaps even types of grass. The most interesting and well-known characteristic of Myosaura is to do with its name, Good Mother Lizard. Myosaura nesting grounds have been found, so we know a lot about its social habits. They lived in herds, raising its young in colonies. They laid around 30 to 40 eggs, which were laid in a circular, or spiral pattern. These eggs were about the size of ostrich eggs. Fossil evidence also shows that Myosaura tended to its young. Now I said Myosaura lived in herds and you're probably picturing a dozen or so animals. Think larger, much larger, as in as many as 10,000 animals. An unbelievable amount which must have been an amazing sight to see. Similar to the vast herds of wildebeests in Africa, only imagine them being up to 30 feet in length. It would be an amazing sight. Now the most famous Myosaura fossils are found in the Two Medicine Formation, but remains have also been found in the Oldman Formation of Canada. These two formations have quite a lot of overlap when it comes to species, as do other Montana and Alberta fossil formations, like the Dinosaur Park Formation, Horseshoe Canyon, Judith River. These have very similar species living in them, but there are some occasional differences. Daspletosaurus and Gorgosaurus are found in two medicine, Oldman, Dinosaur Park and Judith River. Albertosaurus, though, is only found in Horseshoe Canyon. Hippacrosaurus is found in two medicine and Horseshoe Canyon. Myosaura, though, is only found in Two Medicine and Oldman, but not found in Horseshoe Canyon. So it's a very unusual situation with some crossover in different formations 
and different species living together in different areas. Since my tooth is from two medicine, this is the formation we will look at. The two medicine formation spans from 80 to 74 million years ago. It's been determined to be a seasonal, semi-arid climate with warm temperatures and long dry seasons. Some fossils here have shown signs of drought related death. This was a tough area to live. Now though many species have been found in the two medicine formation, Myosaura didn't actually coexist with all of them. Different portions or layers of a formation have shown evidence of different dinosaurs. Myosaura fossils have been found in the middle portion of the formation. Most of the remains of Myosaura and the famous nesting sites were found at a place called Egg Mountain, circled here. Other dinosaurs which have been found here are the small herbivore Orodromaeus, the carnivore Trudon, the raptor Sauroniphalestes, the smaller raptor Bambi raptor, an unknown nodosaurid which is likely Edmontia, the alpha predator of the area was the Tyrannosaur Daspletosaurus. Additionally, there's evidence that the Hadrosaurids Hippacrosaurus and Griposaurus coexisted with Myosaura for a time too. So pricing. I purchased this tooth from the Daily Rex, a shop that has a wide variety of very well priced fossils for sale, including some rarer and more unusual species. I paid $45 for this tooth. Better conditioned ones can, of course, go for more, and more worn examples go for less. But I've seen other sellers offer Myosaur teeth for more, around the $100 to $150 mark. But usually they just sell individual teeth. These don't come up for sale all that often. Really, the Daily Rex is the only place I've seen sell Myosaur teeth in larger numbers. So if you're interested in buying one, it's definitely the place to look. So that's it for Myosaur. A very cool dinosaur and I'm very pleased to have this tooth which is a pretty nice example of it. Thanks for listening and take care.